name is Eleanor Anderson, and I'm a compulsive gambler. I don't control my gambling, it controls me. All my life I thought if I could only be a winner, people would want me and love me. And all my life I've been blaming luck for all the rotten things that happened to me. If luck deserted me, it wasn't my fault, was it? I wrecked two marriages. I lied, stole, cheated, wrote bad checks. I was kept out of jail by my mother. Safari Dream and Katie Shaw, followed by Sam's the man, and Lieutenant still driving on the outside. Three quarters and 132. It's Safari Dream and Katie Shaw in the stretch, and here comes Lieutenant. Safari Dream and Lieutenant. It's Safari Dream and Lieutenant neck and neck. It's Lieutenant on the outside. And at the bottom, Lieutenant wins it. I'd get high when I'd win and low when I'd lose. It didn't seem to matter which way it went as long as I was in action. Eleanor Anderson. What's the payoff? Great. Put it all on Lovett's wish in the night. What do you mean I'm too late? Oh, damn it, Arnie. If you'd picked up the phone right away, I would have made it. There are 52 weeks in a year and 52 cards in a deck. Seven days in a week and sevens to win in dice. <laughs> There wasn't a number in the world that just meant time or how much. Every number was a bet. Bring it or take it. Take him. That'll be plus seven fifty. Going well again, huh? I got lucky in a bridge game. Bye bye. Never learned how to play bridge myself. See you soon. Don't bet on it. Daddy call today? No, Aunt Connie did though. She says you should call her back. <laughs> oh, honey, that's not the way we do it. <laughs> Look, put a little bit here, a little up here, <laughs> and then do <laughs> like that. Can I make an appointment for a haircut, please? Hi, Daddy. Hello, baby. What's that on your mouth? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, sweetheart. Mm. Oh. Mrs. 
Mrs. Colson said her husband hates waiting for his supper. I'm certainly glad I'm not married to him. So am I. Not for the same reasons. So, what did you girls do today besides play beauty parlor? Well, while Stacy stayed at home and took care of the house, I caroused around the town. I had, had lunch with Robert Redford and told him I would never leave you no matter what he offered. I'm glad. I went to the cleaners and the market and took the books back to the library and got some bags for the vacuum cleaner. Bet your day can't match that. Oh, I don't know. It had its share of thrills. <laughs> you know something? What? I think something's burning. Oh, the broccoli. Oh. Give me your plate. Eleanor, do you remember Walter Pines? Is that the funny little man that smokes a pipe that you said is smarter than he looks? Sharpest promoter this side of the Rockies. Well, I had lunch with him today. And he told me about a small engineering firm that's up for grabs over in Phoenix. I think I'll fly over and take a look at it tomorrow. I didn't know your boss had plans of becoming a conglomerate. Well, I'm not looking for him. I'm looking for me. I think this is something I might be able to swing. Are we going to move? If I find what I'm looking for. Would you object? Besides, you can't go tomorrow. It's my birthday. So? I'll be home for dinner. I wouldn't miss my daughter's birthday. We're going to move. I know we are. Stacy, this is as much news to me as it is to you. Maybe we're both being a little silly. I mean, we're not going to pick up and move just like that. There's a lot to be considered, right, Bill? Why don't we just table this for now? After Art and I fly up and take a look at it, there might be something to talk about. Art's flying up with you? Oh, of course. I'm not going to invest my life savings in something without the advice of my attorney, for heaven's sakes. See, we're moving. Ellie, where's my briefcase? Oh, there it is. Well, see you tonight. Hey, aren't you going to wish us luck? Oh, of course I do. Oh, Bill, I, I'm sorry. I, I was going over things for tonight. I'm so afraid I'll forget something. All you have to do is pick up the puppy, the cake, and three paper hats. I'm sure everything is going to turn out fine, okay? Uh, Bill. Do you have any extra cash? I'm all out. Oh, well, all I've got is 50 bucks. Can you cash a check? Hey, I'm glad you reminded me. Can you go to the bank, close out the savings account, transfer all the money to the checking account? Can you do it today? The entire savings? Yes, yeah, 30,000 bucks, plus whatever interest there may be on it. If everything works out right today, I'm going to need it all. Just like that? Will you trust me? I promise you, I will not do anything, anything, unless it is really right. Hey, and don't get crazy over Stacy's birthday, will you? It's not her first one. It is with her new mother. If you don't know by now that she loves you, you never will. And me too. See you around 6.30, okay? Bill. Do not despair, Aries though things have been going badly. The morning brings questions, but if a right decision is made, evening will find you with many of your problems solved. Taurus, April 20th to May 20th. Hi, how are you, fill her up? Bed Creek. Odd or even? Odd. Okay, odd for five dollars? Want to make it ten? Okay with me. Don't let me catch you touching that hose until I come out. Do I ever? Perish the thought. Come on, pal. I only book him. I don't guarantee him. You owe me five hundred. Hi. Okay. But no later than noon tomorrow, you understand? I ain't no bank. Sometimes I think I'm in the wrong business. If I hung up a sign, at least I can charge interest. This time you owe me. Your luck's changing, huh? Well, it couldn't have gotten any worse. Yeah, my customers had a good day yesterday. Wind is all over the place. We had a little too, Arnie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and fifty. Thanks. Now I'm going to give you a chance to get it back. I want you to put the thousand on Stanley R and the eight that brought it to win. 
You gotta be kidding. I mean, he's gone off at 20 to 1. What do you got, a tip or something? Look, Ellie, you know I can't cover this kind of action. So, spread it around. See you. Spread it around. It's been a long time, Sugar. How you been? Fine, just fine. Well, I heard you got married again. Yes. Is everything working out all right? Couldn't be better. I've been married eight months. Oh. Well, everybody down at the club keeps asking about you. Oh, yes. Say hello for me. I don't go to those places anymore. I play bridge now and then, you know, just for fun with my husband. Oh. Well, that's nice. That's nice. You live around here? No, Westwood. Well, this is a mighty long way to come for gas. Oh, I was on my way to the pet shop and ran out, that's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought maybe with a, with a bookie in the back. That, uh, bookie? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Well, you thought wrong. I don't gamble anymore. Total, 788. You owe me 10 bucks. You should have taken even. It's been coming up all morning. Big mouth. Well, you almost bought it, didn't you? Not for a minute. <laughs> Listen, you wait for me. I want to play some bad. <laughs> Honey, you never con a con. Well, that's how it happened. He was a widower. I was divorced. We started seeing each other. Tried it. Liked it. Got married. <laughs> You'd really like your meeting. Stacy, too. So, what's happened with you? Me? Well, I'm the same as ever. The luck comes and goes, but I'm having a ball. No men? Special ones, I mean. Oh, everyone's a special one. <laughs> you know me, I like to travel alone. <laughs> Ellie, tell me, why did you lie to me about the bookie? You think I don't approve of gambling? Yes, you don't approve of my gambling. I mean, it's all right for you, but not for me, is that it? Mm hmm. Edie. Everybody gambles now and then. The churches are full of little ladies wearing hats, playing bingo all day. Perfectly respectable people sit in front of tote boards and brokerage firms. Bill and I play bridge. Not for money, just for fun. How did your husband feel about you being in action? I'm not in action. Oh, come on. Okay. He doesn't know. Oh. Well, listen, as long as you hold it down, huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. Are things going bad? Not bad. Rotten. It's changing. I can feel it. I just need a little more time. Well, do you have the time? I'll know tonight. What? What do you mean? Bill's gone to Phoenix to look at a piece of property he wants to buy. And he's asked me to transfer the savings account into the checking account. So? There are no savings. How much? $30,000. Nothing small time about you. How? How did you let yourself get in that deep? Need you ask? Last August, I dropped $750 in card game. Figured I'd win it all back in a couple of hours at the poker club. Now all I have is a, a 20 to 1 shot. I love him. A little more time, I know I can get it all back, and then I'm quitting. Maybe you'll be lucky. Maybe he won't like that Phoenix thing. Ellie, face it. Where in the world are you going to get 30 grand? There are a few places. Look, I have a million errands to do, and I'm going to meet my mother for lunch. I've got to go. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, if you need me, huh? Thanks. Good seeing you. Yeah, you too. You're late, Eleanor. And a warm hello to you, too, Mother. You know I don't like to be kept waiting. I have a lot of errands. That's the problem. You keep trying to do too much. You don't 
organize your time. Decide what you want, I'm famished. I know what I want. I'll have the Eggs Benedict. Don't tell me you haven't had breakfast. I've had breakfast. I like Eggs Benedict. Why don't you try the fish? It's very good here. I hate fish. It's all in your head. Fish is delicious and low in calories. I've caught me a husband, remember? I'll have Eggs Benedict. How's Bill? He's fine. Oh, I'll have the soul, no potatoes, and Eggs Benedict for my daughter. Would you like your coffee now? Yes. Ah, uh, no, I'd like a Bloody Mary, please. Still smoking, I see. Not really. I only light one now and then. Wouldn't it be easier if you didn't carry them with you? I mean, just quit cold. That's too easy. You know I hate fish. How's Bill? You asked me that before. Well, uh, what did you get Stacy for her birthday present? We're surprising you with a puppy. That's a, that's a very wise gift. It will teach you responsibility. We just wanted to enjoy it, Mother. Don't you think that Bill overindulges that child? There's no way you can overindulge a child who's lost a parent. That's what I thought. Stacy's mother died. My father was excommunicated. Ellie. All the awful things you've done might be canceled out if you... if you used your own experience to guide your stepdaughter. God would forgive you, would she? I'm sorry. All I wanted was to have a pleasant afternoon with you. I don't know why we grate on each other this way. Because I'm me and you're you. It's as simple as that. It's hard to have fun with the Grand Inquisitor. All I really want is your happiness. How, how is everything with you, Mother? If you want to know if I'm gambling, why don't you just come right out and ask? Don't throw away this marriage. Your first one was a nightmare. Your whole life was a nightmare. I'm not gambling, okay? Can't you believe me? I'll try, Ellie. I'll try. Dave Stalker in a brush on the outside, followed by Stanley R. Three quarters and one thirty-three and two. In the stretch. It's Helen's toy in front by a leg, Lulu's Dad. pet, and Day Stalker with Venice Guy moving up fast on the outside, trailed by My Fantasy and Freddie Baby. It's Lulu's pet by a neck, Day Stalker, and now Stanley R swings to the outside. Coming Come down to the wire, it's Come. Lulu's pet, Stanley R second, and Day Stalker. The finish, Lulu's pet wins it by a leg. Stanley R second, Day Stalker third, and Helen's toy. like a birthday party in here. Where's the birthday girl? Hey, did you get the puppy? Yes. Well? Well, what? What happened in Phoenix? It looks good. Well, tell me about I'll it. I'll tell you later. Now? The reason I can't tell you now is because Art's still up there. He's got a number of things he wants to check on. He's going to call me later, and we'll see if there's anything to discuss. We going to move? Hello. I don't know. You want your present now? Sure. OK. Here it is. Happy birthday. Uh -huh. Thank you. Flea collar. A dog? You caught me a dog? Where is it? Oh, she's so cute. I love her. 
Can she sleep with me? I don't know. You're not going to think she's so cute in the middle of the night. She's not housebroken. I'll train her. I'll put papers all over my room. Oh, I love you. You're so cute. Success. Yes. This is for you. According to the shifty-eyed salesman, uh, this is a special mark of the chief's favor. This is the gift he gives to the woman he wants to spend the rest of his life with. Oh, Bill, it's beautiful. I love it, and I love you. <laughs> Something the matter? No, I'm fine. I guess I just get a little edgy when things are so unsettled. Samantha, when we go to the bazaar Thursday night? No problem, honey. We'll just lock her on the service porch. But who'll sleep with her? What are you talking about, babe? I was supposed to spend the night at Carol's house, remember? It's a slumber party after the bazaar. You said I could go. Yeah, but I'm not having any dog in my bed. You have to. She misses her mother. Come on, Stacy. Bill, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Honey, take Samantha to your Hello. room. Put some newspapers down. The yeah. Floor. Okay. You don't. Are you sure? Well, if that's your considered opinion. Yes, if I didn't intend to take your advice, I wouldn't have brought you up there with me. Right. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah. Bill? He loves it. Art loves it. He says he doesn't see any reason why I couldn't put the deposit down tomorrow. You really gonna do it? Well, I gotta close it fast before it slips away. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't you and I fly up there tomorrow oh, no, together and give them the check? Slow down. Look, it's it's very hard for us to adjust to change that quickly. I mean, there's a lot to be done. We'll have to sell the house. Stacy will have to find a new school, new friends. It's, it's all happened so fast. Look, honey, there's nothing I can do about that, and I'm sorry. But I do want you to see it naturally. We'll take an early plane up tomorrow. Stacy can stay with Connie. You and I will go up together, take a good look around, take a few days for ourselves. Okay? Okay. Me to go get you some ginger ale? That was my mother's remedy for everything from a broken leg to pneumonia. No thanks. I don't think I could keep it down. Bill. Bill, I oh, maybe you're pregnant. Wouldn't that be something if you were pregnant? feel washed out. 
Honey, I don't think I'm going to be able to go with you. Oh, boy. I've got to get there. That guy's sitting there waiting with another offer. I know. I know. You go ahead. Okay, you stay in bed today and take care of yourself. On Saturday, the three of us will go out and have a good look, okay? What a nice surprise. Hello, Leonard. Well, are, are you banking here now? No, I came to see you. Well, terrific. C come in the office. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. You look great. So do you. It's been a long time. <laughs> it sure has. Oh, are these yours? Yep. Well, that's the family. Just beautiful. Oh, thank you. Well, what about you? Husband, children, anything like that? I'm married, very happily. Bill's a great guy. That's marvelous. And I have a ten-year-old daughter. Ten? How did you accomplish that? We've been divorced eight years. <laughs> right. She sort of came with the territory. She's a terrific kid, though. I really love her. Well, I think things worked out for both of us. I, uh, I don't want to rush you, Ellie, but uh, I have a meeting. Is yes, there something I can help you with? Yes, Leonard. Um, my mother's in kind of bad shape. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, uh, physically she's okay. It's just that she's had a bad setback financially. And, uh, well, I, I thought if I came to you, maybe I could get a loan for her. It's no problem. I'll get you the forms. You can take them home, have your husband sign them, and that's should No, I, I, I don't want him to know about it. Uh-huh. We've only been married a short time, and... I see no reason to involve him in family matters. I mean, I, I don't... You know what I mean. Well, it's none of my business. How much money is it? Have you got a cigarette? Uh, no, I, I gave it up, but I can, I can get you one. I have some. <laughs> well, how much, uh, how much do you want to borrow? 30000 <laughs> That's a lot of money, Ellie. I, I, I mean, if, she, if she's in that kind of trouble, you... I don't think she's in that kind of trouble, Ellie. I think you are. You're gambling, aren't you? No, I'm not. Are you forgetting we were married? I mean, Come remember on, me? Come on, Leonard. It's for my mother. I can't do it, Ellie. A, a bank is a bank. I mean, you have some security... Leonard, some I need collateral. the money I... now. Today. What happened to Gamblers Anonymous? I thought when this whole thing blew out, you I went to them and I don't need Gamblers Anonymous. I'm not sick. You lost $30,000, Ellie. Tell your husband. You better tell him before he finds out. I... I can't help you. I don't know why I thought you could, Leonard.
Pacific Ray. Right. Five minutes. Five minutes until post time. together again. It wasn't an accident. I called the club and they told me where you were. Edie, oh, Ellie. Ellie, I would like you to meet Howard Smith and John Jones. Well, they're not imaginative, but they're nice. <laughs> is this adorable? Who says that chivalry is dead? Edie, I'd like to talk to you alone. Believe me, honey, we are alone. Please. Okay. Well, if you gentlemen would excuse us for a moment. Huh? Time's run out. Bill's gone to Phoenix to give the man the check. Oh, happy day. <clears throat> There's only one way to get it. I need a stake. I've got to win it back. You need a big stake. And the right kind of game. Okay. I got a couple ideas. But it's gonna take a little time. Wait, what am I gonna do? Honey, you go home and you sit tight and I'll call you later. We got 48 hours before that check comes. I can't go home. I'm too nervous. I want to stay with you. Oh, no way. No way. You are too wound up. <laughs> Losing is contagious. Now you go home, you take a nice hot bath, and I'll call you later. Don't worry. You need to take care of everything. What? Good luck. Kelly record, but you can't keep it. No, I don't want to trade for Elton John. Gene Kelly's sexier. Bye. <laughs> You're too much. What's so funny? Somehow I can't imagine you and Gene Kelly as a couple. You think he's told? I might. Who's your favorite movie star? When you were my age, I mean. Well, there was um, Clark Gable and Frank Sinatra. They were okay. But my real love was Mickey Mantle. Never heard of him. What movies was he in? He was a baseball player. My father was a Yankee fan, and he used to take me to all the baseball games before my parents were divorced. How old were you then? Nine. But he was still there. I mean, you could see him if you wanted to. He wasn't dead, if that's what you mean. So you could see him. You could tell him you missed him. No, I couldn't. Stacy, it's only natural to miss your mother. My mother would tell me if we were going to move. Your daddy hasn't made up his mind yet. He wouldn't tell you something that wasn't so. He told me my mother wasn't going to die when she was. Maybe he didn't know. He did so. I heard him tell Aunt Connie. Honey. Everybody lies. What matters is why they lie. He was probably trying to protect you as long as he could because he loves you so much. 
Don't expect us to be perfect, Stacy. We're just people. Some of us are better at it than others. Anybody home? Eleanor? Stacy? Uh, we're the owner's wife. We're in business. I did it. I actually did it. No more headaches, no more knots in my stomach. Listen, I'm sorry, I tried to put it off till you could at least come and see, but there was no way it had to be today or never, so I did it. Oh, honey, I'm so glad for you. For me, for us. I'm sorry, I got so excited, I forgot you weren't feeling well. How are you? I'm better. I knew it was moving. This calls for a celebration. Listen, why don't I call Art and Connie to meet us at the Houndstooth at 7. I'm going to take all of you out to dinner. And Saturday, the three of us are going to go up to Phoenix and we're going to start looking for a new place to live. Now, how does that grab you, kiddo? Fine, I guess. You okay? Okay. Well, if you didn't okay. feel lousy before, you're bound to now. No, I'm going to propose a toast. <laughs> and it's not the wine talking either. <laughs> Bill is my best friend. Uh, when he's sad, uh, I'm sad. Toast. Right. And, right. toast. And when he's happy, like he's been since he's met you, my heart rejoices. So, tonight, when I see how you change a lonely man. Where's the violin? Do I hear a violin? Oh, hell. <laughs> to Ellie, who brought the sunshine back. A toast. Hello, Clover Club. Hello. May I speak to Beverly Craig, please? Sure, hold on. Beverly Craig, telephone. Miss Beverly Craig, telephone, please. Calling initial BP O A X R C I C D N M. And what he draws. Hello? Hello, Beverly. This is Elna Barkley. Ellie, where'd you disappear to? I haven't seen you in months. Well, for one thing, I got married. Congratulations. Thanks, Bev. Um, look, I'm, I'm looking for Edie Gould. Is she there? No. No, I haven't seen her. Why? Anything wrong? Oh, no, no. I, I just wanted to talk to her, that's all. Uh-huh. Uh, if she comes in, would you tell her I called? Sure thing. Thanks, ma'am. Nice to talk to you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, sure, I'll hold. Put him on. Yes, Phil, yes. No, Phil, we still live here. We haven't moved out of town permanently. Listen, Phil, which computer is down? Well, did you check to see if you plugged it in? No, Phil, I'm kidding. Yes, I am kidding. I can be there in half an hour. I'm sorry about yesterday, Phil. I will be there in half an hour, okay? All right, thank you. You don't look much better than today's news. Thanks. You're welcome. You sure you don't have a virus? Hello? Yes, Edie. Uh, yes, I was wondering why I hadn't heard from you. Uh, yes, I can make it. Um, I'll see you there. Right. Going out? Who was that? Oh, Edie Gould. She's an old school friend. I hadn't seen her in years and suddenly ran into her yesterday, quite by accident. I thought you were in bed all day yesterday. I met the day before. Anyway, she said she'd call and we'd have lunch. Well, it's up to you, but I don't think you ought to go out. Oh, but I'll only be gone an hour or so, and then I'll come home and take it easy. Okay, you better, because if you are not well tomorrow, I'm going to call the meanest doctor I can find. Okay? I'll see if I can get home early tonight. Relax, relax. Everything's uh, under control. Would you like a cup of coffee? No, my, my 
My stomach's been acting up. Oh, come on. You better take some. Oh, I'll be all right once I start to play. You know that. Well, you're not going to play. I am. What do you mean? Now, look, honey, it took me I've all night. Play. No, no. It took me all night to collect these characters. They know me. They don't know you. You're just along for the ride. But he, I want to... I know what I'm doing. Okay? Okay? Okay. Let's go. Listen, there's one more thing. If you get yourself out of this mind, I want your word that you're going to knock it off. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, don't expect me to help you anymore. Yes. They're all here. They're all things, huh? Mm -hmm. You've been a big help. Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, hey. 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 I guess you're a girl after my own heart. Oh, well, that's not all I'm after. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I want y'all to meet Ellie Barkley. Now, may I present... Oh, come on now. You all introduce yourself. I'm Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Hey, call me, Bob. Hello. Nice hey, pleased to meet you. Ellie's my good luck charm. Listen, you may need luck, but you don't need charm. You got it all. Oh, <laughs> my. Let me see how you feel an hour from now. <laughs> come on. We've got a seat warmed up for you. But you all don't mind a kibitzer, do you? Oh, well, it all depends on who's asking. I'm sure I speak for all of us. You're a square shooter. Edie, we all know that. Now, you can just make yourself comfortable, Ellie. Uh, you know the good one? Carter? Yes. Good. Okay. Annie? Yeah, that's Annie up. Down and Let's go. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Open. Not me. I'll call. I'll uh, meet you and bump you once. I'll fold. Call. Too steep for me. And how many cards? Two. Two cards. Two cards. I'll play these. What's your pleasure, opener? I'll check to the razor. Oh, I think my hand's worth, uh... 100. My openers. Oh, I'm going to enjoy taking your money. You never used to scare so easily. Ellie, Ellie, would you mind getting me a drink, honey? A little bourbon and branch water? Good idea. There we go. Andy up. Andy up. Down and... Go. Bugging her. She let him bluff her without a fight. Am I in? Yep, I hear it. And I open. Thanks. Yuck. I drop. Uh, I'm out. Okay. I'll see you open them. And I'll raise you 40. I'll see your 40. Raise you 60. I like round numbers. I'll see your 60. And I'll raise you 50. Price of poker's going up. <laughs> I'll see your 50. And I'll raise you 100. Uh, it's getting interesting now. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to bluff me this time. I'll see you a hundred, and I'll raise you a hundred. Sounds to me like the lady's got a royal flush. I just call. How many? I'll play these. Me too? Uh, two pat hands. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to check. Oh. What about a hundred? I'm just going to call. But I want to see all that royalty. Oh, that's not enough. You know I don't play them unless I got them. Read them and we. Five red ones. Mm -hmm. 
That's the way it goes. This just isn't your day. Please let me play. Gentlemen, uh, I find my head is aching. Would, would you all mind if, if Ellie played for a while and I'll just sit over there and rest for a minute? Oh, sure. Oh, that's a good idea. You can't play your A game if your head's pounded. Sure can. <laughs> Thank you for being so understanding. Oh, sure. Well, you're better than me. Hey, would you like a new stack, Ellie, or are you just taking over for Edie? No, no, I'll, I'll stay with hers. Maybe it'll help her get well. Okay. To your good luck. Yes, good luck. Thank you. You're afraid of getting busted. You shouldn't open the door at all. What do you want? Uh, I'm going to come How did you hear about the game? A chance of getting in? You'll have to wait for someone to fold. I'll open. All right, once. How many? One. One. Two. Dark and dirty. I'll stay with these. Open the checks to the razor. Likewise. Five hundred more. Hmm. Without me, openers. You probably got me beat. Uh, okay, I'll let you steal it. Beginner's luck, Ellie. I wouldn't be surprised. Mind if I walk? Oh, it's done. Okay, cut to you. Deal, Bob. Ready up. Ready up. Okay, up. in. Jack High Straight. You sure you don't do this for a living? That's enough for me. And me. Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm just getting started. Uh, well, you're getting started, but that finished me. That was my case money. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't go away uh, mad. Uh, uh, not bad. mad, Ellie. I'm just focused. Oh, my love. Oh, we could. Looks yeah. like your lucky day. Oh. Want to go to the track with me? No, she doesn't. Oh, that's your loss. Well, here's your money. I've already deducted my rent. Hey, why don't you go home? Here's your steak. I've only got 10,000. Well, that's 10,000 more than you had this morning. Come on, quit while you're ahead. Sure you won't change your mind? That uh, beginner's luck shouldn't be wasted. Particularly since I'm offering you the key to Fort Knox. If you're a beginner, I'm the Pope. What do you mean by the key to Fort Knox? Sure thing. There's no such thing as a sure thing. Well, that's where you're wrong. It's all arranged. It's a three horse parlor. Can't lose. You're kidding. I bet. Katie, you have to let me 
go. I'm hot now. I can get it all. Be a winner. Will you quit while you're ahead? I'm very grateful to you, but I'm not there yet. Okay. You remember what I said now. Don't call me. Well, what do you say? Five to one. Not mother's helper number three. Yeah, it's possible. He has good speed. Uh, what about number two? Baby biscuit. That's a smart bet. What is it with you? I'm letting you in on a killing and you're doing numbers on me. You want to bet or you want to watch? Okay. Put a hundred on it. That's all? You don't trust me, do you? I don't believe anything until I see it work. It's your life. on number two to win. Still a non-believer? That's right. him in a million years. When I say I've got information, I've got information. Oh. What's the matter? Hard stone. Yeah. Who's Hard Stone? Your boyfriend? No, my husband's accountant. Is he married? Yes. Is that blonde sitting next to him, his wife? No. Well, you can take the glasses off, honey. It's a standoff. He didn't see you. You didn't see him. Your husband doesn't know you gamble, right? Yeah, I get it. It's none of my business. Come on, let's get our money. He was conducting the March of the Toreadors. But there were only three people playing in the band. <laughs> That's how I do. <laughs> you see, March is the third month of the year. And there were only three people playing in the band, you get it? 
How did you know? About number three, I mean. I had the same dream. <laughs> Ellen, you are not taking advantage of the break of a lifetime. Now, I'm going to go for a bundle on this. Boy said bet number three in the third, and number three came in. From now on, the sky is the limit. You mean you didn't know if that tip was for real? Well, let's just say that um, they have been known to enjoy a practical joke from time to time. Coming in on this one, or are you going by the racing form again? Not this time. Just give me the name and number and point me to the window. <laughs> You're going to love this, number seven. Trusting? I don't believe it. Believe. Believe. <laughs> number seven, 20 times. Three minutes till hook time. Put it all on number seven. You really are kidding, are you? You don't know how serious I am. Comes to eight thousand dollars, lady. That's right. All of it on number seven. You gonna buy? Thirty thousand dollars. to win like that. What are you going to do with all that money? Who's going to explain it? I know where every dollar's going. Mwah! <laughs> this is You want a drink? Something tall and cool. Okay. Let's race. We have number six. I'll be right back. Oh! Bad day? Not good. You come here often? Never on Monday. It's closed. <laughs> Gee, you and your husband sure look happy. Oh, it's nice to win. I can't even remember what that feels like. That soft baby in the next race. Hey, thanks. Good figures. What do you mean? That horse hasn't got a chance. What are you talking about? What horse? Soft baby, the one your wife told me to bet. According to the form, she hasn't been in the money all year. Not at a mile and a quarter. She can't go the distance. It's your funeral. Where are the drinks? The line was too long. Let's go get our cash. Right, she hasn't won a race all day. Soft baby can't go the distance. First you tell me it's a sure thing, then some loser tells you a horse can't win and you get cold feet. Will you shut up? This is important. Did you call and verify these tips? Look, you don't call these guys, they call you. If I still had my Dick Tracy two-way watch, though, I'd give it a try. But you said they'd given you inside information. Did they or didn't they? I don't know. I just don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Now get off my back, I have to think. With what?
betting or watching. This is where we get rich. Rich? You must be rich already. How much you got there? 30,000 and change. You're home. Home free. I'm going to clean up. This is a parley, and I'm not going to miss it. What the hell makes you so sure? I know. It's my day. Coming in up. You can put it all in soft paper? You're totally nuts. <laughs> Start punching. Number six to win. You're knocking the odds down. That's my horse. Find another. The starter, all the field. Now hold off traffic, lady. Eat your heart out. She gave me her ticket. Congratulations. What number do you want? I got it already. And it's a start. They're off and pacing. They're moving for the first turn. Into the turn of the patio on the rail with Country Blue's Maze Trust dropping in the third. Further back on the outside in Saw Baby. They're moving on the turn for the back stretch. race. I'm all tapped out. Do you have a winner? I got lucky. Look, um, do you think... Sure. Sure, what are friends for? We'll consider it alone, all right? Couple of good long shots and you're even again. No worse off than when you start. Five hundred, all right? Five hundred would be fine. Uh, Rick. That's right. We haven't been introduced yet, have we? Rick Santos, S A N T O S. Elner Anderson. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right. Now, who do you like in the next one? Big Brad. That dog? Why not? Oh, come on. You can't win it all back in one race. My hunches can't be any worse than your inside information. Oh, now don't you get nasty. I tried to warn you. I like Big Brad. Well, it's your money.
trying to stay along. Ellie, I know just how you feel. I've been there once or twice myself. Nice restaurant, a few drinks. The world starts to look like less of a minefield. Come on, what do you got to lose? I can't. I have a lot of things to do. So, do them later. I hate to eat alone. I have to go. Look, would you hold off cashing those checks for a day or two? You're not telling me those checks are no good, are you? No, you're too smart for that. You'll get your money. Look, if this is a problem, I can call your husband and arrange for him to make easy payments. Leave him out of it. I hope I can. See you later. Hey, Bill, have you seen Eleanor? You haven't. Uh, no, no problem. I'm just trying Daddy, to... Daddy, we've got to go. I'll call you back, huh? I'm responsible for my class's food. Yeah, I know. Okay, let me leave a note for Eleanor. Hey, I tell you what, I have an idea. Why don't I call Carol's father and have him come over and pick you up, and then... Daddy, Eleanor, you I'll... promised to help. Okay, Stacy. Let me finish this note. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Trouble, bad trouble. I know what you're thinking, but this time it's different. I swear it. Does Bill know? No. You've got to help me or I'll lose him. If I could prevent that, I would. But you can. If I could put the money back, if you could give it to me, then I... That would save your marriage? Yes. Ellie, Ellie, tell him the truth. Maybe he'll understand. Not this. I gambled away $30,000 that he had put away to buy a business for himself. Oh, my God. Ellie, I haven't got it. And if I did have, I don't think I'd give it to you. Look, I, I gave out some bad checks, $1,500 worth. Just give me that much. I can't. Mother, I'll lose him. Oh, it's a little late to think about that now. Everybody can't be perfect. I didn't mean that, Mother. I, I didn't mean that. Don't. I'm sorry. Please, please don't humble yourself this way. It can't change anything. I know you don't believe me, but I am trying to help you. What, what are you going to do now? I don't know.
if he does this? Please. We're closed. Please let me in. I can't let it's you important. in. It's important. It's after hours. Please. Help me. I need the money. Please. I want your fingers to These aren't hot, are they? I mean, you haven't gone and done anything dumb, man. They're not hot. Hey, there's a beauty. It's not worth much to hot, but I like this kind of stuff. You sure you don't want to keep it? I'm sure. Then sell it to me, okay? I mean, unless you think you might want it back. Please, how much? How much? seen him. I'm trying to find Rick Santos. Rick Santos? That creep? What do you want him for? I have a debt to pay. Why don't you throw yourself in front of a train? 20. 21. Really? You look terrible. When did you eat last? I don't remember. Sometime yesterday, I guess. Come on with me. Would you let me know if Rick Santos comes in here? Sure, please. Rita, let me have a, a burger and some coffee and bring it to my office, please. We'll get some food in you and then you get out of here. I can't. I have to pay him. <laughs> Leave the money with me. I'll pay him. No, I want to do it myself. You know you're a pain. Save your breath, Beverly. I've been told off by experts. Damn right I'm an expert. And I know a loser when I see one. You're a good-looking woman. You're smart. You have a family you care about. And you're going to lose it all. And I don't want to see that happen to anybody. I thought you were supposed to drum up business, not turn it away. Beverly Craig, you're wanted at the cashier's desk. Beverly Craig. I've got to go to work. Listen, Ellie, I don't know what kind of a jam you're in, but you stay away from those tables. Eat your dinner and split. Robbins, table 26, the board, please. Will Milt Robbins please come to the board? Fill me out, I'll be right back. <coughs> yeah, Rick. Really? What's up? What's your seat, Bill? Oh, but I'm doing good. That's great. Then you can pay me what you owe me. I'm out. Fifteen. You're fifteen, raise fifty. I'm out. Sure. I told you we'd meet again. Please? I got your money. What money? I want my checks back. Later. No, now. Don't get me started. I haven't got them with me. 
sides. Where's the fire? Five and ten for us, JMP, one draw. Eleanor. Ellie. Ellie. Eleanor. Twenty and twenty more. Don't call me grandma. Now, it's your funeral, sucker. I'll see you and raise you twenty. Five and ten. Stay. Five and ten. Stay. How many? Two. Two. Dealer stands pat. I'll be brave and bet into the pat hand. Raise a 20. I'm going to have to teach you girls some respect. I get 60. Yeah. I'll just call. MO3 draw. MO. Raise it 80. I have a hundred bucks that says I have the best hand. Too rich for my blood. Openers. Raise. You're hurting my feelings, Ellie. I guess I'm just going to have to raise you again to make you believe me.
take it away. Well, if you had enough to raise, you should have had enough to keep your mama. How do you know he didn't steal it? Good deal, Grandma. Make up your mind. What do you do? Oh. That's your first mistake. That's it. I've had it. Oh. Sometimes I feel like an old woman. Oh. Hey, we have a date. Remember? I lost the money. That's not my fault. Look, give me a couple of days. Forget it. That's what you said this afternoon. I come in here tonight and you're gambling my money. I'll get some more. I want it now. Okay, okay, give me five minutes. I'll have the money. Guess that's it. I yes. Think so. Finish? Yes, thank you. Bev, I have to see you. You don't have to tell me. I saw. Oh, this is my boss, Tom Harris. Tom, meet Eleanor. Hello. I have to see you alone. No sweat. I was just leaving anyway. Oh, um, uh, take it easy with those names. I've got checked in that list. Will do. They're in way over their heads already. Good night. Good night. I need $1,500. Sorry, I can't do I'm it. I'm not going to play. I've got to buy my checks back from Rick. Please, Bev. I know you mean it now, but what about tomorrow? What about next week? Don't you understand? If I get those checks back, I'll tell Bill the truth. I'll take my chances. Oh, sure you will. Why don't you wise up? You can't stop. Take this to the cashier. And that's it. I'm barring you from the club. And the other clubs use the same bar list. I don't know how to thank you. I'll pay you back, I promise. I expect you to. Thanks. Charlie, there's a woman on the way over with a chit. Pay her and put it in the whole file. <laughs> I know I'm over. That's my funeral, not yours. I'll wait here. Ellie, I thought we were friends. That's no way to treat a friend. I hate to feel you didn't trust me. Rick, please. Come on, it's just on the block. Come on, come on. You like scotch? That's all I got. I don't want any. So much to charge. Give me the checks. Okay, okay. I can see you're not feeling very friendly. 
You know, I'm very disappointed in you, Ellie. I thought today was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Give me the checks. <sighs> okay. I left him in there. going to give them to me, are you? Of course I am. I'm a man of my word. I just can't remember where the hell I put them, that's all. Pink. <laughs> now look. Two mature people, right? You'll get your checks back. Douglas? Oh, uh, yes, no, no, I wasn't really asleep. <clears throat> What's up? Yes, I did write a check for $30,000. Why? Well, I'm, I'm sure there's some mistake because my wife deposited those funds several days ago. What, what do you mean you don't have a record of it? You must have a record of it. Yes, yes, I'm sure that there is a, a reasonable explanation of this. Uh, uh, can, I, can I get back to you? Yes, I'll call you back. Yes, I will. Thank you. Where have you been? What happened to you? some answers here. Where were you? I was at the Clover Club. The Clover Club? What the hell is the Clover Club? It's a place where people go to gamble. Well, who were you with? I went alone. I always go alone. Oh, wait a minute here. You're just not making any sense now, Eleanor. What the hell is going on? I'm a gambler. Last night, your, your jewelry was gone, your coat. I pawned them. I needed the money. Well, 
Honey, what are you talking about? Why didn't you come to me? I would have given you money. It wouldn't have been enough. Six months ago, I lost $750 in a bridge game. I've been trying to win it back ever since. Eleanor, the, the bank called. What happened to the $30,000 in my account? Gone. I gambled it all away, every penny of it. All my life, I, I've tried to stop. I couldn't. I tried to tell you. I couldn't. Phil, I'm so sorry. Did you say you're sorry? Who are you? I don't even know who you are. Who in the hell are you? That's what I want to know. I'm a compulsive gambler. You're talking about 12 years out of my life, and you all you can say is that you're a gambler? Where do you think you're going? I'm leaving. You are not going anywhere. We're going to stay right here, and we're going to work this thing out. It can't happen that way. Why not? I love you. I just destroyed your life, and you're telling me you care about me? I do. I don't give a damn about don't the money. Don't be kind to me, Bill. Please. I'm not being kind to you. I love you. I just stayed in a motel with a man last night to pay off a debt. Do you still love me? Why don't you just get whatever it is you want and go? I'll pay you back, Bill. I promise. I'm not interested in that. I promise. Say goodbye to Stacy for me. Bill or Beverly or my mother or maybe even Rick Santos but somewhere that night I found out I didn't want to be a loser anymore that's when I called Gamblers Anonymous I've got a job now and I'm trying to repay some of my debts I'm even beginning to feel good about myself I still want to gamble but I found out there's a big difference between winning and losing Hello, Beverly. Ellie, how are you? Good, and you? I'm fine. I have something for you. Oh. Say, that's a lot of money. Are you sure you can manage? <laughs> what was that for? Just for being a good friend. How is everything else? Oh, I'm managing. Bill and I are separated. Permanently? He has a lot to forgive. You are. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ellen. 
Eleanor. Hello, Bill. Uh, I was uh, just looking at the uh, easels, sir, uh, while I'm in the market. Would you like to see one in particular? Well, I think you know which one it is. It's the one Stacy's been dropping gentle hints about all month. Yes, I know the one. Uh, Marie, would you get the aluminum easel from the back, model 305? Would you like a gift wrap? No, uh, I'll, I'll take it as it is. Thank you. Well, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay. I got the checks, thanks. Look, I, I have a little birthday present for Stacy. It, um, I was going to have it delivered, but maybe you could take it with you. I now. think she'd enjoy it a lot more if you gave it to her in person. I don't think so. 6.30 tomorrow at the house. We've uh, got a lot to talk about. <laughs> 